Y'all heard no, um not Nelly. Ludacris. Y'all heard Ludacris in the song? It's kinda hot. Kind of funny. I feel like it's describing me right now. Hold on, listen real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, my leg is hurting so bad right now. Freaking walked off my bed. Walk fell. I mean, it's all the same thing, right? Anyway, so I'm getting off the bed and I scratched my leg on the back of this metal bar and it's it's all scratched up and rough looking and it's gonna be all red and scabby tomorrow so whatever anyway so um I didn't really have a good day today I can put up that's a damn loud music anyway yeah I didn't have a good day today it was just long and people were aggravating. I kind of felt like, you ever feel like you just want to fight? Like, I kind of felt like I wanted that one person to just come up in my face and just try me and be like, bitch, excuse you. And I've been like, bitch, what? Boop. I mean, you shouldn't really do that. But it's just, you know, I didn't. I was just feeling that way. Everybody was just talking too much to me. It's just like, yo, shut up, shut up. Shut up. But. But, um. So. I want to talk. Well, I don't know if you. Those who don't know me. I work in retail. For those who do know me. Or you see my MySpace. You know, it says it all over my page. Because I really do love my job. I really do. It's, like, really fun. And I love their clothes. Because I'm a shopaholic and getting a discount to help, what's the word, feed my addiction is wonderful. <laughs> so, but, like, we get these freaking crazy ass customers. Like, like, like this is how I know I've been there so long. Like, when people steal, it hurts my feelings now. Now I want to start, like, running people down and chasing them, like, hey, put that back, you know, I feel like doing that now, because it's like, yo, how you gonna steal from us, man, I done worked hard to make this look all pretty, and you wanna steal out of it, dang, come on now, why do people steal, I don't understand that, what satisfaction do you get out of stealing, like, I go through the store and pick up all these sensors and tags on the floor, and it's like, why, why? What's the point in doing that? I stole one time in my life. One time and one time only because trust, I got caught in trust. My mama put it in me. She made sure that it wasn't going to happen again. So, <laughs> like, and what was it? It was like bubble gum, bubble tape, bubble tape. It was bubble tape. And my mom and I was like, you know, bubble tape wasn't even that good. It was like all cheap and chalky taste. But anyway. So I was like, Mama, I want the bubble tape. I want the bubble tape. My mom was like, no, you don't need it. You don't need no more candy. And I was like, no, I want the bubble tape. I want the bubble tape, Mama. <laughs> and she was like, look. Yell one more time in the store. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I stopped yelling. And me, being a little sneaky little girl that I am, I went. And I just took the bubble tape. And I just walked down. And I'm just walking out with my bubble gun. Just pulling it out. Because y'all know how bubble tape was. It's like three feet of gum or something like that so I'm like yeah with my gun just throwing it all in my mouth mmm bubble tape and I was just happy I had my bubble tape I didn't pay for it I was like what uh, and so I'm sitting in the hallway cause I'm stupid I'm a stupid thief I'm just playing with the stuff all out in the open she was like she walked past me she was like where you get that from I was like oh I want Patty bought it for me. And she was like, okay. So, you know, I'm thinking it's over. No, she went and asked her. And and she was like, what? I didn't buy her anything. And I was like, damn, what the Damn. Why you, why you couldn't just go along with it? 
so by the way we are home now we are in our house we are no longer out and about in the store so my mama puts my jacket on puts her jacket on and we walk all the way back to that damn store all the way back to that store and when I tell you she made me get that man the gum and I was like dang it's already almost done I don't have this little much in there three feels like this big at first and I was like this and she was like, bring it to him. So I had to tell that man I stole from that store. And my mom was like, I think she should go to jail. And I was four. She always trying to tell somebody. She always trying to threaten me with jail. Every time I do something, don't make me call the police. <laughs> it's like, dang. Everything. So I think that's why, like... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I just had a good mama. Because I'm, I'm going to do the same thing to my kids. My kids are not going to steal. If you really want it that bad, you're going to work for it. That's basically how it is. I don't see, I don't understand the point of stealing. Do you feel good after you just stole something? Somebody done put their hard work into something and you're going to just steal it? I work hard for what I got. I work hard. Everything, if I can buy, like, yo, I got these sneakers that I've been wanting for like two months now. But... You know, with bills and whatnot, I can't afford it right now. So, I'm working hard, friend. When you finally get it after working hard, don't that make you feel better? Like, I worked hard. Now I got what I want. I wish I could use that same philosophy with school, but I don't like school. So, I don't work hard. And, <laughs> and when I get my grade back, I know it's because I didn't work hard. And I don't care. But that's a whole different subject. So anyways, back to, you know, these weird, crazy-ass customers that we get. People come in there and tell me all sorts of things that I don't want to hear. Why you come in there and tell me your whole life story? One lady come in there talking about how she used to be fat, and I'm like, oh, wow. She was like, I couldn't shop in this store before, but now I can. I'm like, wow, you're such an inspiration. Let me bow down to you, because you done lost weight, so now you can finish out with clothes. Yay. Ooh. You want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? I don't care. Don't t look. This one thing y'all should know about me. Look, let me tell you something. Look, honestly, honestly, I mean, look, I I'm there. I will listen, and you know, I will be compassionate when I need to be. But please don't come to me telling me your life story. Don't come to me talking. About I don't care. Um. Uh, my baby daddy done cheated, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Because you know what? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to just tell you what you need to hear. But if, if you ain't going to listen to me anyway, why the hell I'm going to tell you, give you advice? There's no point in me doing it. So, don't basically don't tell me your life story because I don't care. I don't care because you're not going to listen to what I want to say. In the end, you're going to do what you want to do anyway. In the end, you're going to just do whatever the hell you feel like doing. So I could sit there and be like, oh, well, your man cheated? Well, you don't need to be with him. You're better than that. You da 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 But in the end, you're just going to be like, yeah, yeah, you're right. He called me last night. <laughs> don't call me with that shit. I don't want to hear it. I got my own problems. And granted, yes, every once in a while, I unleash them upon my friends, my close friends. I have my personal therapist. But she all uh, busy with her baby right now, so she can't. Th she can't. You know, sessions are closed for right now. They're temporary on lockdown, temporarily. But dang, I don't went all off subject. I was talk. I was gonna start talking about my job, but then I got into like stealing and people telling me their life story, and I don't care if you want to come to me talking about you gonna kill yourself. I'll just be like, well. <laughs> mm -hmm. You wanna kill yourself? Don't don't do it. I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't. Mm. It's not that I don't care. It's just what. I don't know. I just. That's all I can do. Just. 
Mm-hmm. Me and my daddy the same exact way. You could sit there and talk to us for like hours, and we would just look at you in the end, just like. crazy that's crazy <laughs> but um i'm done i don't know i don't know what else to talk about i ain't gone on for like 10 minutes talking about bullshit <laughs> but anyways i guess i should go do some homework i guess I'm outie though. Good night. Bye.